Hello, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Trost. I'm the Senior Vice President of Operations at Mary Genetic Labs, and today we're going to do an experiment to extract your own DNA that you can do in your own kitchen, simply. As you know, DNA is the code of life. It codes for everything you are. So here's how the simple experiment works. To extract your DNA, it's five simple steps. First, we will make a salt solution. Then you'll have the salt solution gargled. We'll add two drops of dish soap to the salt solution after that and mix gently. And after that, we will add rubbing alcohol. Wait for three minutes and you'll be able to see your own DNA in the solution. So let's go over the materials you'll need to extract your DNA. First, you'll need table salt, also known as sodium chloride, a clear glass of water, we're using a beaker, something to measure a quarter cup width and a half cup width, we're going to use a graduated cylinder, some place to put your salt water for the person who will be gargling it to extract their DNA, another clear glass to put your gargled solution in, some regular dishwashing soap, and rubbing alcohol, also known as 70% isopropanol. For this next part, Michelle has kindly volunteered to be our, my guinea pig for extracting DNA. So this is how the process works. First, we need to add three, three teaspoons or one tablespoon of sodium chloride or table salt to 500 mils or uh, approximately two cups of water. I'm gonna add a little bit more because that last one was light. It's important to stir the solution and get the salt completely dissolved before you go to the next step. So now we have our salt completely dissolved in the, in the water. I'm going to use a graduated cylinder at home. You can use just a quarter of a measuring cup and I will measure 50 mils of salt water. And instead of drinking out of the graduated cylinder, we'll have Michelle use a disposable cup. So she now needs to push that in her mouth and then she needs to swirl it around her mouth and gargle it for a full minute. It's important you do it for a full minute. Gargle, swirl. Swirl is fine. Okay, so now that Michelle has swished it in her mouth for a minute, she gets to spit it in its clear glass. Was that a long minute? That's a long minute. <laughs> yes. Not very tasty. Okay. So in the solution from her mouth, we've taken cells from her cheeks that's been extracted in the, in, into the salt water solution. To this, we then add two drops of liquid detergent, approximately two drops. We will then stir it to gently. If you want to stir so that you do not create bubbles in the solution. Bubbles are a problem here, so stir gently. Okay, after we have stirred in the soap, which causes the cells to lice, we then need to add 100 milliliters, or approximately a half a cup of rubbing alcohol. So now in approximately three to four minutes, we can see if Michelle actually has any DNA. And now you've extracted the code of life. Go ahead and try this fun experiment at home.